Assalamu alaikum. Today our topic is from developmental biology. The topic is fetus development. In this topic we will study that how a fertilized egg develops into an embryo, into an organism. We will go through some stages that occur in worm. The stages will be month by month. In month one, as the fertilized egg grows, a watertight sac form around it gradually filling with fluid. This is called the amniotic, amniotic sac and it helps cushion the growing embryo. The placenta also develops. The placenta is a round flat organ that transfers nutrients from the mother to the baby and transfers waste from the baby. In month one, there is also a primitive face will take form with large dark circles for eyes, the mouth, the lower jaw and the throat are developing. Blood cells are taking shape and circulation will begin. The tiny heart tube will beat 65 times a minute by the end of the fourth week. By the end of the first month, your baby is about one fourth inch long, smaller than a grain rice. Month 2 In month 2, your baby's facial features continues to develop. Each year begins as a little fold of skin at the side of the head. Tiny birds that eventually grow into arms and legs are forming. Fingers, toes and eyes are also forming. The neural tube, brain, spinal cord and other neural tissues of the central nervous system is well formed. In month 2, the digestive tract and sensory organs begins to develop. Bone starts to replace cartilage. The head is large in proportion to the rest of the bodies. By the end of the second month, your baby is about one inch long and weighs about one thirtieth of an ounce. Month in month two, at about six weeks, your baby's heartbeat can usually be detected. After the eighth week, your baby is called a fetus instead of an embryo. Month 3 In month 3, your baby's arm, hands, fingers, feet and toes are fully formed. Your baby can open and close its fists and mouth. Fingernails and toenails are beginning to develop and the external ears are formed. By the end of the third month, your baby is fully formed. All the organs and extremities are present and will continue to mature in order to become functional. The circulatory and urinary system are working and the liver produces bile. At the end of the third month, your baby is about 4 inches long and weighs about 1 ounce. In third month, your baby's most critical development has taken place. Your chance of miscarriage drops considerably after 3 months. 4. Your baby's heartbeat may not be audible through an instrument called a Doppler. The fingers and toes are well defined. Teeth and bones become denser. Your baby can even suck his or her thumb, yawn, stretch and make faces. The nervous system is starting to function. The reproductive organs and genitalia are now fully developed and your doctor can see on ultrasound if you are having a boy or a girl. By the end of the fourth month, your baby is about 6 inches long and weighs about 4 ounces. Month 5 You may begin to feel your baby move since he or she is developing muscles and exercising them. This first movement is called quickening. Hair begins to grow on baby's head. Your baby's shoulder, back and temples are covered by a soft fine hair called lenugo. This hair protects your baby and is usually shed at the end of baby's first week of life. The baby's skin is covered with a white coating called vernix caseosa. This cheesy substance it th is thought to protect baby's skin from the long exposure to the amniotic fluid. This coating is shed just before birth. By the end of the fifth month, your baby is about 10 inches long and weighs from 1 to 2 to 1 pound. 
month six. Your baby's skin is reddish in color, wrinkled, and veins are visible through the baby's translucent skin. Baby's finger and toe prints are visible, the eyelids begin to part, and the eyes open. Baby responds to the sound by moving or increasing the pulse. You may notice jerking motions if baby hiccups. If born prematurely, your baby may survive after the 23rd week with intensive care. By the end of the six months, your baby is about 12 inches long and weighs about 2 pounds. Month 7 Your baby will continue to mature and develop reserves of body fat. Your baby's hearing is fully developed. He or she changes position frequently and responds to the stimuli including sound, pain and light. The amniotic fluid begins to diminish. At the end of the seventh month, your baby is about 14 inches long and weighs from 2 to 4 pounds. If born prematurely, your baby would be like to survive after the seventh month. Point 8. Your baby will continue to mature and develop reserves of body fat. You may notice that your baby is kicking more. Baby's brain is developing rapidly at this time and your baby can see and hear. Most internal systems are well developed but the lungs may still be immature. Your baby is about 80, 18 inches long and weighs as much as 5 pounds. Month 9 your baby continues to grow and mature. The lungs are nearly fully developed. Your baby's reflexes are coordinated so he or she can blink, close the eyes, turn the head, grasp firmly and respond to the sounds, light and touch. Baby is definitely ready to enter the world. You may notice that your baby moves less due to the tight space. Your baby's position changes to prepare itself for labor and delivery. The baby uh, drops down in your pelvis. Usually the baby's head is down towards the birth canal. Your baby is about 18 to 20 inches long and weighs about 7 pounds.